My view, when you think about motivating a team, I think in general when people leave a company, they don't leave the company, they leave a manager. And I think great leaders are really responsible for setting a bold vision. I think in today's world, they, we talk a lot about millennials caring about the kind of company they work for and the kind of role they have, but I think everybody feels that way. That's certainly our philosophy as a company at Google. We feel that leaders should set an incredibly bold vision and then help people see themselves in it because most people want to come to work in the morning working for a company that's doing something that they believe in and that they personally are making a difference. I think the second most important thing for a leader is to be authentic. And that sounds can sound kind of trite, but I think people want to work for people that are honest. And in a lot of businesses, you don't know all the answers. And I think sometimes leaders try to be too polished. They try to talk about everything being organized. They try to come into meetings. And one of the things I, I really learned, and you have to be like this at Google to be successful given the pace of change, is that people would much rather someone stands up and says, this is where we really need to get to. These are the things that I'm really confident in. These are the things I'm not sure about. But we're going to figure this out together. And then as you go along the journey, if you find that maybe this path is better than the one you suggested the first time, standing up in front of the organization and saying, these are the two or three things that I really believe have changed. And this is why I think we need to lean left or right or maybe change the whole thing. And people just want to know that you have a vision, that you're going to be accountable for it, and you're going to be honest about what's working and not working. And I think the last piece that I think is most important um, in leadership is I maybe sometimes I use the the concept um, are you an energy creator as a leader or are you someone that may be excessively critiquing if you look at what the percent of the time do you praise versus you just try to ask that tough question or you try to just propel people and I think most people are more motivated by feeling that someone's confident in them and that someone believes in them even if they then ask a follow-on that says hey you know I think we could take that a step further but they feel like it's together versus they're being graded. Um, and I think when you walk down the halls as a leader, everyone's looking at you, right? Especially in high uh, change environments. And there's something one of my best mentors said to me once. He said, you know, as a leader, you have to remember that all ambiguous behavior will be negatively interpreted. Because when you walk down that hall, I really think to myself, doesn't matter how tough that discussion was I just had, this might be the only time that that person's going to see me that whole day or maybe that whole month if it's an office I don't go to often. If I'm high energy and smiling and excited, right, they feel excited because they think I'm excited. And I think that's something as leaders we sometimes forget about, those small soft skills in terms of bringing the organization up and creating energy.